Today we're gonna make some punch. And Kennedy's here with me. She's hiding over here in the corner. <laughs> and we had this at her wedding. So we're gonna call it Alabama Wedding Punch. And it's super easy and it's really, really good. And it's from your- Aunt Gail. Her Aunt Gail. So what we're gonna do start out is we're gonna do a cup and a half of sugar. And I'm just gonna make it in my, in my tea pitcher so it will, we can stir it easy. I've got a third of a cup measure in Dylan here, so. Okay, so there's a cup and a half of sugar. And then we're gonna do four cups of pineapple juice. And we just have the Libby's, but whatever um, pineapple juice you have. Shake it. There's so many different kinds of punch you can make. And this will be kind of a cranberry color. I used about all that, uh, but you can always put um, a few drops of food coloring in there if you want to have a different color. And then this is just cranberry juice. And it's just the regular cranberry. You'll pour that in there and stir that around. It's awful hot here in Texas. So this is gonna taste really good. So we're gonna stir this until it's dissolved. We had this at their wedding shower a few nights ago and I'm sure y'all can watch that. It's on here. I know some of y'all have. And um, the girl that made it um, our little pastor's daughter, she put a few drops of red food coloring in it, and it, it was a real pretty pink. Okay, and then you're going to add a whole two liter bottle of ginger ale, Canadian dry, whatever, whatever uh, flavor or uh, whatever brand you want to buy. Huh? Okay, see the color of this? It's a little darker than, or kind of like a tea. And so uh, she just added some um, red food color and a few drops and it made it a good pretty pink. And I'll show you a picture of that. I'm not gonna add it today. All right, now we're gonna taste it. This is uh, such an easy, fast recipe when you're... Now the pineapple will settle a little bit, so you could just stir it. And if you food color in it, you can always do that. Or if you wanna just leave it like this, you could put some sliced um, fruit in there. You could maybe put some sliced oranges or um, anything. Just however you want to garnish it. Okay, we're gonna taste it. Isn't this pretty? I got this at an antique store. It's really old and it's got the pedestal and it's removable, as you can see. And uh, I just really, really love it. So we're gonna try And also, if what we usually do is mm -hmm. we kind of freeze it and let it get slushy before you serve oh, it. Oh, that'll make it even better. Now this was all chilled beforehand, but it's not gonna be as good as if it was slushy. All right, you ready to taste it? Try it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Woo. It's so good. That is good. 
I could drink it every day. We always have this for Thanksgiving, Christmas, any birthday party. Easy it's our favorite. and delicious. Alabama Wedding Punch. I think I'll have another cup. <laughs> See y'all next time.